Hello everyone and welcome. It is the GUI Precap. It's a recap of all the things that are going to have happened for the week of December 27th, 2021. Before it happens, my name is the Bruce and let's get started with the GUI Pick of the Week. Uh, it's going to be Disney releasing the first episode of The Book of Boba Fett. This is what we're getting instead of the third season of The Mandalorian. I hope it lives up to the high standards and expectations that we have with The Mandalorian. All right, for TV pages, this week it's going to be a little on the slim side. So, Monday, ABC has this year, 2021. Tuesday, CW has Pop Stars Best of 2021. And ID has Murder in the Heartland premiere. Wednesday, nothing. Thursday, again, nothing. Friday, which is New Year's Eve. ABC, CBS, and NBC are all going to have their New Year's Eve countdowns. They're going to be starting at different times and going well through midnight. First Saturday, ABC has When Nature Calls with Helen Mirren finale. And for Sunday, Fox has Next Level Chef premiere. The finale of Yellowstone will be on Paramount. And Discovery has Dirty Jobs. And This Came Out of Me. Oh, that's just weird. Nothing coming out in movies or Blu-ray this week, so we'll go to the online services. Netflix, you have Crime Scene, The Times Square Killer, Anxious People, Kits, Stay Close, Seal Team, these are animated seals too, uh, The Lost Daughter, Queer Eye, and Cobra Kai. Disney has, like I said, The Book of Boba Fett. And HBO has Harry Potter 20th Anniversary Return to Hogwarts. There's no video games or GUI news this week. Uh, most everybody's taking the week off anyway, so I'm doing my show. Hey. So, for one more thing. Hogwarts Legacy, the upcoming RPG set in the Harry Potter universe, will be likely one of the biggest games of that license. Even though there have been other Harry Potter games before, it seems that Electronic Arts was making a huge Harry Potter game of its own in an MMO form, when it had the license. However, it died before it could come out. EA had IP rights and started production on the Harry Potter MMO back in the early 2000s. According to one of the directors of marketing, uh, at the time, we had the beta built out. It was a combination of online and offline experience where you, we would actually mail stuff to the kids like prizes and ribbons and stuff like that. Thoroughly researched, very confident in the success of this, but it was killed for the lack of a better term, because EA was going through some changes at the time and they didn't believe or didn't know that the IP would have a longer shelf life than a year or two. Yeah, they didn't know. Uh, EA could have made a fortune back in this franchise when it, when it had the chance. No one knew at the exact time of the estimates of when it actually would have come out, but it had been about the same time as the first or second movie and the fourth book. So just picture going back in time 17 years ago and buying stock in Amazon or Google or Disney back then. Yeah, you know how much that would be worth now? Whoops. All right, this has been the GUI Precap. You can follow along with all of the fun times at GUIPodcast.com. If you want to call us and leave a voicemail, it's 804-505-4484. That's 804-505-4GUI. You can also email us at geeksundertheinfluence at gmail.com. My name is the Bruce. Of course, all of these things happen because I'm from the future. 2021 is almost done. Let's hope 2022 will be a better year. I'm not saying it's going to be. I'm saying let's hope for it. So be nice to yourself and each other. GUIPodcast.com <laughs>